Have you ever heard of or used the word recidivism? <laughs> Frankly, it's a tough word to say, but it's an important word. According to the National Institute of Justice, recidivism is one of the most fundamental concepts in criminal justice. It refers to a person's relapse into criminal behavior during a three-year period following the prisoner's release. The Bureau of Justice Statistics found that within three years of release, about two-thirds, 67.8% of released prisoners are rearrested. Within five years, it jumps to 76 0.6%. Now here's the truth. About 90% of the folks in prison that are in prison right now will get out. They're going to come and they're going to live in our towns and our cities and our neighborhoods. And these statistics we're talking about tell us that the majority of them will commit new crimes. Here's the question. Is there anything that you and I can do to change this? Well, well, there have been quite a few studies conducted on what does change that statistic. Now, common themes that you're going to find in virtually all of these studies that offer any hope include things like age, if the prisoner gets to be greater than 65 before they get out, education, if they receive a high school or college education or they're given some sort of skill training that will help them get a job when they're released, effective drug treatment, the availability of long-term reentry care, and yes, if they become a born again believer in Jesus Christ, these statistics do go down, but sadly, by only about five to 15%. Now down is good, but down more is better. Some years ago, we began to conduct a prison ministry within Evangelism Explosion. God called our director, the Reverend Art Hallett, to this work and gave him a vision to equip believers in prisons across America I think Art is America's evangelist to the incarcerated church. At this point, we've trained literally thousands of prisoners in how to share the gospel of Jesus Christ while they're in prison. And here's the thing, the recidivism rate amongst those that have been trained in EE is shockingly low. I mean, less than 10%. I've done quite a lot of thinking about why this is, and I'm sure that there's a myriad of reasons, but among them would be, once an inmate begins to openly witness for Jesus, that becomes their identity. You see, hypocrisy isn't allowed within prison, so this new identity is firmly rooted in the witnessing believer. Second, we often will go and witness to their family as well, which gives the family a belief that maybe they're different this time and consider giving them another chance when they get out. And third, this training gives these Christians the foundation for their ministry within the local church when they get out. Often churches are not very welcoming to those that have just gotten out of prison, but having this key skill helps them to fit in and to find a place in the ministry of the local church. Now, I, I love the daily devotional by Billy Graham, which is called Hope for Each Day. And in it, there's a particular devotion titled Beauty Out of Ashes, based on Isaiah 61, verses one and three, which says, the Lord has anointed me to bestow upon them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. One of the Bible's greatest truths is that our life can be different, but it is only Christ that can bring hope to lives that have been turned into ashes by the assaults of Satan. And Jesus doesn't merely restore us to what we once were, but he gives us a crown of beauty, the beauty of forgiveness, the beauty of hope and joy and peace. This week, we're gonna focus on EE's prison ministry through our radio feature, Share Life Today, our website and, and social media, and this discussion. So please join in. Let me know what you're thinking. Ask your church if they have a prison ministry and then do all that you can to connect EE with those that are active in it. If you don't have one, see how we can help you get one started. And together, by God's grace, let's change lives permanently for the glory of God. Have a great day in Christ.